y'all so this man finna make me gather his edges and i try to be nice i try to be sweet but people just push you like they just like to i don't know provoke you and that's toxic i don't have time for it been there done that can write a book about it i'm vlogging about it now <laughs> um i don't know i mean he's from nigeria but i don't even think that makes a difference i think that he has some character traits that we just won't get along um but let me see where do i start um first he i let him know from the beginning that i'm not ready for a relationship i am not looking to be married anytime soon um you know we get to know each other if that's what you want to do i didn't pursue him he approached me and <laughs> i really wasn't interested so i guess i shouldn't have um given my number but i did i mean people ask so it just depends but anyway um one day he sent me this text or post that said something about she's single but she's not available um somebody messed her head up or something like that and he was like this you <laughs> and i replied like, I'm going to have to look at it, read y'all what I replied. Because, like, first of all, don't come for me. Um, I'm single and I'm not available because that's my choice. And you're not going to force me or pressure me into being in a relationship with you because that's what you want. Like, I've only known you, I don't even know if it's been a month. And I still don't know you. Like, I don't, I don't get it. And that right there is weird to me. So like it's a no um <laughs> but yeah i'll have to let y'all know what my reply was but it was something very um to me classy it was like i've been married most of my adult life which i sure i'm sure i had already told him that and um so i'm not in a rush to be married again like why would i rush into another relationship that's just not smart and then i say wisdom and experience um i say i'm I did say I'm healing and preparing myself for my next husband um, and enjoying life. Like, so it has nothing to do with somebody messing my head up. Like, thoughts. Let me know y'all thoughts on that because don't come for me. I don't like that. Like, don't. That's subliminal. That's passive aggressive. And still to me now, maybe my head is messed up still, but no. I don't receive that. Um, it's just experience has taught me. And that's, to me, you playing games, trying to play mind games, sending that kind of stuff. Like, it's disrespectful. Don't come for me. Don't come at me with that. Um, so then I finally, like, just told him the other day, and I believe I touched on this in my last vlog, that it was just all too much for me. All the I miss you and blowing up my phone that one day. And for what? So I told him that day that it was too much and um, I'm not going to give a blow by blow, but basically that was pretty much what I thought was it until he sends me this Instagram video of a, re it was a reaction video of a person watching somebody else or just a video of the person talking about, um, what did it say? <laughs> Sorry. I got a thing. This is why I wanted to be prepared and have it, but it's on my phone, so I can't look at it while I'm recording. Um, but I may insert it in here so you guys can see it. Um, so it was like broken people still attract healthy people or something like that. And then I said, So what are you saying? And he said, Never mind. Then he said, That's you right there. This is why I said I'm going to gather his edges because, excuse me. Um, and so, again, I gave him another classy response. Um, no, first I said, so you're broken and I'm healthy. And he sent a bunch of laughing emojis and I sent laughing emojis back because that's what it is. Because I've explained to you, I've been honest with you and told you where I'm at. And you still trying to force this on me. 
Like, it just don't make sense. The math ain't mathing. And the fact that you don't get this lets me know that there's something wrong with you. Like, and don't, don't get me wrong. There are some places that I'm still broken, but that's not the reason why I'm choosing to be single right now. I think it's smart to take some time for myself and not rush back into another relationship and a marriage. There's nothing wrong with being by yourself and making yourself happy, finding out what makes you happy um, so that you can be able to be happy with yourself and not depending on somebody else for your happiness, your joy, your peace or anything like that. And that way you'll be prepared um, when you do meet that person and actually healed and ready to be in a relationship. Oh my gosh, I was so annoyed, y'all. I'm just, ugh, I don't like that. I don't like that. And I be so meek and mild and calm until you keep on poking and then you're going to get what you're trying to get. <laughs> um, But yeah, I was just like, I gave an explanation, not even an explanation, but I said something to answer the fact that he was trying to say that. I was like, you cannot, you know, try to say that I'm, broken because I'm not ready to be in a relationship right now because I don't want to be with you. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave this right here. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Um, I would like to give y'all some more details, some more of the responses, but uh, again, that requires me to look it up on my phone. So I may piece it together and give y'all a full video with some of the details um, if you need more, but Comment and let me know what y'all thoughts are about this type of person. Am I tripping? Is he tripping? Or is it not that big of a deal? Um, love to hear your thoughts or read your thoughts. So please comment, like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already.